It's essential to use the right aquarium for your plants to tank. There are many options, so it's important to make the right decision. Here are some factors to consider. The size of the aquarium is important and affects the amount of space available for hardscape, plants, and livestock. For instance, all livestock have a minimum gallon requirement, larger fish cannot be kept in a small aquarium, and larger plants may look out of place or overshadow smaller plants. Additionally, you will need to consider where you will place the aquarium. You need enough space for the tank and its equipment. This brings us to the topic of an aquarium stand. Do you need one? No, but it can help with larger aquariums and equipment. Please make sure that the stand is able to withstand the weight of the tank. Here's a website that will calculate the weight of the tank filled with water. There are still more factors to consider, one of them being the style of the tank. There are many designs for aquariums, from standard rectangles to a bow front to hexagons, each of them having their own pros and cons. Bow fronts have a curved shape that emphasize the middle, but viewing it from the curves looks unnatural. Hexagons have visible panel planes and limited horizontal space. Rectangles can vary in height and width, but can be dull. Now, if you can't decide, my recommendation is to go for a rectangle aquarium. Furthermore, there are rimless aquariums offering a more modern spin on the traditional aquarium. It has a more sleek and clean design, but does not utilize a lid, which means that evaporation can easily occur or your livestock have all the capabilities of jumping out of the water. Once you've chosen the style of aquarium, we have to consider the material it's constructed from, but it's just glass. This is low iron glass. It offers a superior viewing experience due to its low iron oxide content. Standard clear glass is truly not, well, clear. It has a slight green tint to it due to the presence of iron oxide. You can even verify this by looking down on the edge of the glass. If your main objective is to create beautiful aquascapes, consider using low iron glass to get the most vibrant colors from your aquarium. However, low iron is generally more costly. But what about acrylic? Acrylic is more prone to scratches and is, believe it or not, more costly than glass. However, it's more lighter and it's more resistant to impacts. Glass is also the most common material for tanks. Price is our final topic. If it's a concern, the best option is to go small. This way, you can use less substrate, plants, and even smaller hardscape material. Contrary to popular belief, smaller tanks are not more difficult to maintain. In fact, with the right equipment and regular maintenance, they can be just as easier to care for as larger tanks. Plus, you'll save money on your water bill. If you want to save even more money, consider an aquarium kit. These come with the necessary equipment to get started. This is the first video in my Planted Tank 101 series. Here we cover everything you need to know to start your very first Planted Tank. The next video will be about filters. If that's not out yet, take a look at this video, which YouTube thinks you will enjoy while you wait for the next part.